Well, thank you for coming. I'd hoped the government had learned lessons from this pandemic and the need to work in partnership with local areas to give communities clarity on what we've been asked to do, why they've been asked to do it and how they will be supported. Updated guidance slipped out on a Friday tea time on Cabinet Office website is frankly not good enough. I'm grateful that our colleague Jonathan Ashworth has raising a UQ in the House of Commons. Um, uh, it shouldn't have to come to this to drag government ministers to the House to explain their actions because we need to remember this is people's lives and their livelihoods. These areas have been under restrictions for over a year. Testing, isolation and vaccination are the way to effectively tackle local outbreaks, not punishing communities with creating confusion, anxiety and concern. I was able to speak to the Minister Nadim Zahawe this morning and I was really grateful that he apologised. But when Theresa Coffey, the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, was asked a question on LBC this afternoon about what went wrong, she doubled down saying that we'd been spoken to, we haven't been spoken to. So I'm seeking urgent clarification from government about what's the criteria for these restrictions and what is the roadmap out of this situation. Because if today has highlighted anything, it's the urgent need for people to take up their opportunity to have their vaccine. I was pleased to have my second jab this week and I urge everyone in our community to do the same. Having your vaccine is the best way to protect yourself and your loved ones and to get back to some sort of normality. Thank you.